Let's make a no-bake pumpkin spice cheesecake. So we're making a super simple pumpkin spice cheesecake today. I'm not using recipe just because I wanna feel it out as I go. I've never worked with this type of cookie before, but I have a hypothesis that these Biscoff cookies that are accidentally vegan to have this vanilla filling in the middle will actually make a really nice crust. These are just for decoration. Don't use them in the recipe. We're gonna keep it super simple. We're gonna grind up some of these Biscoff cookies and then we're gonna make a filling for the cheesecake with some canned pure pumpkin, some nuts for cheese, cream cheese, a little bit of coconut milk, a little bit of coconut oil. We're gonna find some maple syrup and we're gonna use a little spice mix that has some cloves, allspice, nutmeg, and cinnamon. The other ingredient is some silken tofu and that is going to help make the cheesecake really creamy. It's also gonna add a little bit of plant-based protein and then we're gonna to top it all off with some coconut whip. A food processor. We're just gonna start with, let's say, one full package of cookies. Yum! I'm just gonna pulse these. This is going to be perfect. I'm gonna take a springform pan. That's the spring in a springform pan. And then we're just gonna take our little crust here, pour it into the pan, and spread it out a little bit, and just gently pat it down. Have our cookie crumb crust here. And we're gonna get to work on our filling. Trusty Vitamix, this is my favorite kitchen implement. Got our can of pure pumpkin here. I'm gonna start with like three quarters of a cup. I'm gonna add our spice mix and a container of silken tofu. A little bit of coconut milk, however much coconut milk we feel like. I think I did about a quarter of a cup there. A couple seconds of maple syrup. A couple tablespoons of coconut oil. The last but most important ingredient, and that's for cheese, original cream cheese. This product is super versatile. You can cook with it, you can bake with it. In this case, we are making a sweet cheesecake. I'm gonna put in a full container here. This is what's gonna make it taste really cheesy. It's also gonna be super rich and creamy. And then we're gonna blend it up. Mmm, that's really good. I'm gonna add a couple seconds of maple syrup, like one more scoop of pumpkin, and like a tiny dash more coconut milk. Taste test number two. Okay, I think that's perfect. Just gently pouring your cheesecake filling. I'm just smoothing out the top of the spoon here. Into the fridge. I put this cheesecake in the fridge for somewhere between four to six hours. You can also leave it overnight. Just going to use a butter knife to release the cheesecake from the side of the pan. And voila, we have a beautiful cheesecake. And then I'm going to take the Biscoff cookies and just place them on top.